we turn the pawn then send out the brooders after sending we hand sex females will take their own pawn where they rest for seven days males the same then we collect the young ones the so-called fry after collecting the fry we pass them through a grader to get the size which is fit for sex reversal that is 14 millimeters and below then we start introducing them to the empty diet which takes about one month after that we sell them to the customers before you come let's say we have booked you to come for them tomorrow we have to ensure that fish are in our harbor nets by today or by yesterday we have packaging bags we cut our packaging bags fill them with water we add a pinch of salt to the bag then we count fish if you want a thousand fish we count 1000 fish in a small beaker then we put a mark where the level is so that we, that one will be our benchmark to put a thousand per bag so after putting the fish we pump in oxygen after pumping oxygen we tie very tightly using a bladder both the inner layer and the outer layer of, the, of that polythene so it's safe for transportation when they reach out their ponds let's say you are a farmer you collected your fish and you reach where you want to stock them we advise you before you pour them into the water, before you release them into your pond, there is temperature difference between the fish in the bag, between the water in the bag and that one of your pond. So you need to acclimatize your fish. You don't just come and pour them directly into the pond. What you do, you open the bag, then you allow some water from your pond to enter into the bag for some time then you will start observing your fish moving out from the bag into your pond so it's one of the safest way of releasing fish into the pond <laughs>